How many of you are coming here for the first time? Lift up your hands. First time. Ah. Where were you? <laughs> if you are coming for the where were you all along? Is it first time? Where were you? I mean, where, where do you come from? I am coming from Orvin Bush. I came to one of our, you our come from church. Orvin Bush in Pretoria, around here. Right. So you stay here? Yes. And you have never heard about you? How long you heard about us here? I heard about you, but one man of God, he, he said, today we can go, because we, we have got a special prayer, so you can go there so that the prophet, they can, maybe you can have an anointing uh, power. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, this is a sign that everybody is having a reason why he's here. If, in fact, that's what I wanted to tell you. That, that, well, well, brother, how long? I mean, I thought I would take time. How we are here, praying for you. I mean, you don't know how many times pastors risk their lives and risk their families just to pray for a nation. And you find after 20 years, you are getting a revelation now when you come to church. There are some people that you are not supposed to be asking someone to go to. Because if you go there, I mean, and you ask someone first, the person can mislead you. You need your own revelation. Let me hear my brother. Good, good afternoon, everybody in the church. My name is Innocent. I'm staying in Oliven. I'm from Cameroon. So my friend came is, here last time. Is it, are you not to, are you together? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, my friend came here last time. So he told me he want to visit here again. So I said, let me follow him to come and visit the church also. You, you have what they say. I think when you ask your friend, your friend find revelation, you can follow your friend. <laughs> you say, he said, let me follow you. You could hear everybody here. I've got different reasons of coming here. But more so, can we make one reason of coming here? Seeking God. Amen. Because you see, you have come here through a friend. Another one is one anointing. What about God? What about God? If now, many of us, we want, we, we want to be famous. Because if we get money, we'll be famous. What about God? And if we get anointing, we'll be known. We want to be known. What about God? We have got so many reasons that, you know, we end up knowing all churches, but we don't know God. Uh, we, we go to this church, we find a short pastor. You go to that one tall pastor, that one fat pastor there. End up knowing all, but you don't know God. Because you don't have a reason of going to church. Your reason of going to church is what? Let me follow a friend. Let me go and receive anointing. What is anointing? Let me go and receive a job. If you are prayed for in that church, you give three months and you don't find a job. You go and pray for in that other church. I mean, you end up knowing every house without knowing God. This is really painful for us, especially here in our country. That is why we live Christianity without holiness. Because what we need is no longer God. What we need is things. We are, we are searching for things. If you come here, God bless you with those things. It's possible you can sit for a while to see other things again. 
because you're not here for God. You're here for things. So you, you must be promoted from these things to other things. Not from the relationship with God and grow to another level of relationship with God. Many of us, we are zero here today before God. Our relationship is empty. We pray because we want to sleep. We pray because we want to eat. Even when we want to pray the prayer of food, oh God, before I eat here, amen. He <laughs> said, before I eat, God bless this food before I eat. I mean, stop this thing. Go and bless the whole grocery. Because you, you, you are lazy to pray. Go and bless the whole grocery. Grocery before I cook you, whatever I'm blessing you. Because you, you, you are lazy. You are lazy to pray. It's better you bless, bless the whole grocery. Say, so you, I'm blessing you. Who are you? Okay, it's your ex. I'm going to cook you one day. I'm blessing you. Okay. Maybe you will have more time in prayer. Because what you bought is too much that when you eat, even your prayer is small. You have got a lack of relationship with what? Oh, you're not seeking God, you're seeking those things. If God does not give you those things, what will happen? There's a prophet in the Bible. East London. West London. Middle London. You, you go everywhere until you get accident and die. When your money is finished now, that's where now you go to the bush. That's why you see many people, they go to the mountain to pray. They don't have money now. <laughs> when, you, when your money is finished now, you say, oh, no, let me go to the mountain. You go to the mountain, you pray, oh, God, the whole day. Because you know your grocery cannot take you the whole month. But the day God blesses you, you forget. So you people, you've got me. I, I want to say welcome, but I want to tell you that, can we seek God today? Can you ask your neighbor, can we seek God? Whether you came this way or that way. Whether you came this way or that way. Let's do what? You can sit down, thank you. So this, don't be surprised, this has been my challenge. I mean, how many people we have prayed for in the church? How many now? Many now. Pray for people. Pray for people. And that is why some of you, you fall under wrong schemes. Where people end up scheming you to get what they want from you. Because you don't see God. I mean, we pastors, we are very intelligent. Pastors are intelligent. They know how to manipulate. They know how to guide. You understand? They know everything. So now, if you just seek, think things, things like that, they will also think, seek what you have. Yeah. You will lose everything. You end up having nothing. So what you need to do now, if you seek God, God will guide you. He will tell you, don't go there. Have you not read the scriptures that there will be many deceivers in the last days? Huh? So you'll be deceived. You'll be very much deceived. You'll be surprised. Ah, you are standing in number one. Number one like this. When you look around, you find someone who deceives you. And you're going to hell together, number one, to enter, to enter hell. The person who deceived you will say, I was deceiving you. Sorry. And it's too late. But if you seek God, you will know who's this person. Amen. I don't know if you're hearing me. Amen. God will give you wisdom. God will give you discerning spirit. You won't be robbed by materials. Keep watching Charis TV.